Oh, he's fighting hard. Oh, he's fighting hard. Oh, oh there's one. Oh my gosh, he's behind me. Let's just put it this way. Might not have the eye of the tiger, but after today, I am gonna have the eye of the salmon. Yup. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing something super exciting once again, as usual. It is bright and early, 5.30 a.m. We are in Seattle, it's low tide. And we are chasing salmon, baby. Let's get it. I'm super excited because um, I have been going a lot and uh, not catching a whole lot of salmon. So today's going to be the day, though. I'm telling you. Mark my words. Uh, we're at the spot. I'm going to walk down a little bit and I will catch you guys on the GoPro. Also, if you're new around here, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos if you want. And smash the like button if you like what you see. So... Let's get after it. I'll see you down there in three, two, one. I mean, how much more can you ask than this? Like, water's pretty calm. Uh, it's overcast. It's early morning. Nobody's here. Doesn't get much better than this, in my opinion. Let me show you guys a little bit about what we were using size three meps hot fire tiger spinner barbless hook of course because we are fishing in the salt and the sound and you don't want to kill all the baby salmon that we're about to catch but i do want to kill the big ones all right let's get it as you can see michael has been here for quite some time because he is an early riser which i am not so doesn't look like he's caught one yet though so that's good Catch anything yet? No, but you're gonna be sweating soon. Oh, I hope so. You're gonna have to go back and get the net from shore. First cast. Oh yeah, true. You mean you're gonna have to go get it? No, no, no. <laughs> Damn, it's just ripping. I'll give you time though. It's going. Yeah. Ooh. How was that? That was a uh, Shit. Oh. Got him. Recording. Oh yeah. Look at that big boy. That's what we're here for. Oh, I got one too. Six inches. Wait, do I have one? No, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> the, the bottom. So if we talk about like secret locations, right now you'll keep it out. Oh yeah. Okay. Definitely won't tell them the secret locations. At Bush Point. Bush Where? Point was so good. Bush Point. Oh, there's one. Ooh. Big boy, we get him. <laughs> it's a monster. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, Whoa. The desperate times call for desperate measures. That's you gonna eat that? Say. See, watch, guys. Wow, that's a. That's why I use barbless hook. Right. Oh. What? What? Oh, I found. Would you lose your spinner? Wow. And it broke. Fish on, baby. Oh, hey, that one was bigger than last time. <laughs> Dude, I hope. I'm gonna try my hardest. <laughs> Fish on again, baby. Back to back. Oh, that was a better one. Oh, he's fighting hard. Oh, he's fighting hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's a little bigger for sure. Um, nothing to write home about, but uh, Barbell's hook comes right out. We're looking for your big bro. Here, okay, guys, so here's the deal, right? The water here, super shallow right now, low tide. Um, I've looked at the topography 
or whatever it's called, um, of how deep the water gets and stuff around here. And apparently in front of me is a drop off eventually. Um, but right now, uh, being that it's like super low tide, um, I'm not sure if I'm able to cast out um, to reach that like drop off area. So I'm hoping that with high tide, when the water comes in, that the fish will come in with it and I can cast into semi deeper water as the water comes up. Um, oh, oh, that was a, that was a decent hit. Come back. I don't know. So that's the plan guys. So stay tuned, stick with me and let's get one. Uh, I'm tired of these little tiny boys. Been catching them for several weeks, maybe even more than a month in a row without catching a big one. So I am overdue. I'm overdue, okay? Fish gods, come on now. It's not even fair. How many hours, dollars, miles I've spent to catch just one salmon? It's the middle of August. Why? Would it be this difficult to catch a salmon in the sound? Considering, considering that the rivers here open up on September 1st, and last year there was plenty of salmon in the rivers by September 1st. Actually, there was plenty of salmon in the rivers by the end of August. So unless somehow within two weeks, there's gonna be an abundance of salmon coming through here, which there might, and there probably will be, um, they might be late this year or I suck at fishing. You guys comment below which one is the answer. Last time we were here, uh, guys, I didn't capture this on camera because I don't think I was recording, um, but we were here maybe around high tide and we like maybe some 200 yards out, there was a pod of orcas that came up and it was just the coolest thing I've ever seen because super rare for them to come. Uh, first of all, this is shallow and second of all, I think it's pretty rare for them to come into um, this part of the sound that we're in. I think I think uh, Mike said that it was on the news, actually. Um, so that was awesome. I wish I captured it on uh, camera so I could show you guys in this in the footage for this video. But um, yeah, maybe something like that will happen today if we don't catch salmon and this video will be salvaged. So who knows? But so far, I await my juicy king coho bites stay tuned it's nothing like just watching your spinner disappear you know that is the coolest thing ever if you just are watching it spin and suddenly it just like disappears you know you know something has it and then a split second later you feel the tug it's just such a cool feeling oh 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 <laughs> that was awesome that was awesome guys <laughs> I'm tired of these. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this guy's screwed. Oh, he swam off. <laughs> He's not going to make it though. He got him right in the gills. Poor little guy. Bird will come up and uh, swipe him. But that will not be a salmon that we catch when he is older. <laughs> I almost guarantee it. Come on, little fish. <clears throat> this is a test of the emergency rod. <laughs> yeah. Hate that. Shit. That's a fish, baby. That's a fish, baby. Come on now. I don't know why every time I hook a fish, like suddenly my voice develops a southern accent. <laughs> I'm like, come on now, fish. Get on in here. <laughs> Little Don, come and get this honey butter chicken biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> For things that people would be like really ashamed of. Not any cool things like robbing things, but like really, really <laughs> cool. I mean, robbing bank is not cool. Can I roll it? Uh, <laughs> Alright, it's pretty cool. It's it's definitely. Uh, it's a thrill. Oh, there's one. It's good in the movie. The it's a bigger one. It's a bigger one. Dude, it's a bigger one. Oh my, oh my gosh, he's behind me. <laughs> that little thing? Yeah, it's right around me. Oh wait, I need to reel this in. I thought you may seem like there's another fish trailing it and it's <laughs> behind you. He might. This is the biggest one all day. Look at that. Ow. Hit you know me in the nuts. I'm not gonna say a word. After the waves came, because it got kind of lazy for them, the 
to stop doing that. Really? Interesting. So, I mean, there's only a, so, there's one. There's only three. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, the big boy. There's only three. Oh, you know, so there's one. one. Big, so. Wow, this is this is the smallest one yet. Just look at the so, size. Brad, look at the size of the hook big, compared to the fish. Yeah. Crazy. What was he even thinking? What was he even thinking? Them feisty saltwater boys. <laughs> Bite salty boys. Boys, salty biters. Oh, there's one. Double up. Double up! Double. Let him kiss. Let him kiss. No, we're gonna get changed. Nope. <laughs> yeah. It's Corona, so you don't want to get shipped close. Here's another rules and regulations question for you. Oh, there's one. over there. There's one. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, he turned around. <laughs> yeah, this guy's feisty. He's feisty. Come on. Woo. Look at him go. Wow, he's this dude is putting up a fight. Oh, you, you want something feisty on the end of your pole? Wow, this is a beautiful fish. Ooh. That looks yeah, bigger. That's you, that's you, that's you. <laughs> you always, when, the, the thing is, like, if we have to look at our rod tip to see if it's bent more than it is, we know it's not big enough. Like, <laughs> it's real long. What are you doing? It floats. Apparently you're saying it, tastes, it smelled really good. Right? It did. It smells so good. It's confused with the ocean oh. smell. What, 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 what? Fish on. Oh. Didn't even reel, as you say. Where's my line? Oh, there it is. It feels heavier. It's a bigger boy. It's bigger than we were used to. Dude, that's a... What is that? It's, it's beat up. Oh, hold up. It's made, up, made its way out of a net or something. <laughs> Last cast. Well. It <laughs> didn't quite go as planned, as usual. We caught a lot of those little guys, so if you guys want to catch a lot of little salmon, be sure to drop the video a like, because apparently that's all we're good at. Anyways, we have something super exciting planned for the next video, actually. We're going to be doing an overnight trip. We're going to be doing an overnight trip <laughs> on an island. We're going to go salmon fishing, salmon fishing on an island. So Wait, we are? I'm we so might excited. be. <laughs> we might be. That's awesome. So uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button to make sure you guys don't miss that video coming out next. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And you know what it is. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.